Today we're working on saying where various animals live. At the top, it says, Doko ni sundemasu ka? Where do they live? So, first job will be match the animals to their habitats. Um, we have a bear. So, I'm suggesting the bear will probably live in a cage. Um, in a cave. <laughs> Sorry. It's not the zoo. Um, the bear lives in a cave. So, you need to work out which of these kanji in the middle is the one for cave. I'll give you a clue. Remember, it's the one that... It's called door kutsu, and it's the one that looks like a door, and it's got the um, double mountains on the second side to say that the, um, which mean exit. So it's door exit, which is um, a cave is like the exit from the mountain, isn't it? A door which allows you to exit from the mountain. Um, anyway. So your sentence, instead of saying like we did last week, watashi wa kanegi traginini road ni sundemasu, it's no longer watashi. I don't live in a cave. The bear lives in the cave. So we're changing watashi for kuma, which is bear. So kuma wa instead of kanegi, because there's no bears in kanegi as far as I know. Kuma wa dokutsu. Ni sundemas. Both sentences, whether you're talking about yourself or the animals, end in ni sundemas. Correct? All right, so first job match all the animals up with the places that they live, the kanji of their habitats. Now, look at the table down below, and it says read this sample sentence first. Animal wa habitat or place ni sundemas. So instead of watashiwa, the one highlighted in yellow, you change watashiwa for the animal. Then the green, instead of your suburb and your street, it's the habitat or place. Look at the second one where it says, for example, if we wanted to say cows live on farms, cows wa farms ni sundemasu. Or if you did that in Japanese, it would say now in Japanese would be ushi. Wa bokujo ni sundemas because we know cows are called ushi and we know farms are called bokujo. Ushi wa bokujo ni sundemas. Okay, let's go back up to the animals that are listed above and that'll let's work them out. So, where does bear live? Bear lives in a dokutsu. So the sentence would go, Kuma wa dokutsu ni sundemas. How about the second animal, which is a sakana, the fish? Um, and I'm going to say he lives in a river. So the sentence might go, Sakana wa kawa ni sundemas. See if we can have a go at the third one is Kitsune, the fox. And I reckon Kitsune would live in the forest. That's what I'm going with. Forest is a modi. Okay, push pause, have a go and see if you can work out what that sentence would be. Did you say Kitsune wa modi ni sundemas? Up the top again on the other side is the cow. Cow is the example sentence we did. I'm going to say lives on a farm. Push pause. See if you can have a go again by yourself doing the cow sentence. Cows on a farm. Ushi wa bokujo ni sundemasu. Under the cow is a new word for you, which is shark, and he's called same. I'm going to say same lives in the sea. Same sharks live in the sea. Umi. Push pause and see if you can work out how the sentence would go. Did you say same wa umi ni sundemas? Good job. Okay, 
We're up to birds. Birds live in a tree. Bird is tori. Tree is ki. Easy sentence. Tori wa ki ni sundemasu. And the last one, dog lives in a house. Dog is inu, house is iye. Push pause and see if you can work out how that sentence would go. The answer is inu wa iye ni sundemasu. Now down the bottom of the page, it says fill the gap. So the first one is something wa dokutsu ni sundemasu. Something wa dokutsu is a cave, isn't it? So write in the space what lives in a cave. Below that, sakana wa somewhere ni sundemasu. Sakana, we know, is a fish. So write in the space where it lives. Your teacher can put the um, habitat words in hiragana up on the board for you using the teacher's cheat sheet if they would like. Or you can just write it down in romaji, the way I've written this whole sheet, which is just using ABCs to write Japanese words. Up to you. The third one says something wa mori ni sundemasu. Mori is a forest, isn't it? So what lives in the forest? Write it in the gap. Keep on going for the three sentences on the other side and see if your friends decide to write the same thing as you. Good luck. Have fun.